Listen, I love the mild sauce. Now, here we go. I would take a bath in the mild sauce. Look at What's up? Ah! Uh, oh. I thought a suicide door. Definitely. Suicide doors go up. No, those, no, no they don't. Oh, those are butterfly doors. Ow. Sorry, I'm not hip with my so rap lingo. All right, we are in Darwin's nerd mobile. <laughs> Darwin of beers and stories, mm. real estate investing. I'm Caitlin of Macros and Metcons. Uh, owner and founder of Macros and Metcons Nutrition Services, uh, and we are heading to Taco Bell. <laughs> Darwin, what do you get at Taco Bell? Um, I eat just about everything. Honestly, my go-to on road trips are uh, the bean burritos, because I don't really trust Taco Bell meat in general. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been to the place where they make Taco Bell meat from the cow. What? Yeah, and I don't, I don't want to. Where eat is it. that? Um, the biggest one is called IBP. Okay. It's in the Midwest, and that is where they make the bulk of the commercially produced beef for the food service industry. Hmm. There's another town in Colorado called Greeley, which actually won the award for the worst town in Colorado. <laughs> Look that up. And they Gross. have a giant meat packing plant. Wonderful. Place, sucks. So I hadn't eaten Taco Bell in probably, I couldn't even tell you how long before I went vegan. And when I decided to go vegan, I was like, all right, well, Taco Bell is, like I started doing my research, right? And Taco Bell is the only, really the, the friendliest for vegan people because they don't put any lard in their beans and you can really? pretty much veganize any of their food. So like you can substitute black beans for meat, you can substitute um, like refried beans, you can put potatoes in just about anything. Um, so yeah, it's super, I literally downloaded the Taco Bell app for a period of time because they have a whole vegetarian menu on there and then you can just like sub out the sour cream and cheese and shit. Um, but low key, Taco Bell has for the last few years, um, <laughs> for the last few years, been um, kind of steadily climbing as one of the healthiest fast food options. They have like the yeah, so they have the fresca menu where you literally can just get like tacos with meat, pico, and lettuce, um, maybe some cheese, whatever. Um, so yeah, it's it's way friendlier, I think, than people give it credit for because they you look at the you watch the commercials and you see like these you know Dorito crunch wrap supreme things mm -hmm. um, yeah no those look like a big bag of diabetes yeah or so, or diarrhea sure, lots of dia things sure, sure. <laughs> that, okay Candy oh soup. watermelon freeze oh, man. dude Chaz would be all over that that is I just want two bean burritos with no cheese okay that's what I'm gonna eat that sounds pretty good that's what I always get Oh. We'll pause so we don't yeah. yell in the Taco Bell oh, drive through. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good, thank you. Okay, get started. Um, all right. So I need two bean burritos with no cheese. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Um, let me see. What do we have? The power menu. I'm gonna try the uh the power burrito. Okay. Did you want a chicken steak or veggies? Uh, chicken, please. Okay. And I our menu burrito it. is also bomb. Like uh, no, I'm okay. Thank you, though. Okay. Did you order to wrap on the screen? Um, two bean burritos, no cheese, and a power chicken burrito. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. I think it's all came out to the 861 or the first window. What a country. So not only is Taco Bell extremely macro friendly. It's cheap as It's all. cheap as shit. So... <laughs> We just got three burritos for like eight bucks, yeah. which is great. Yeah, that's incredible. Uh, Taco Bell is also really helpful when, hey, I mean, we live in Arizona, so there are a bunch of like really amazing local uh, Mexican food restaurants. Um, and all of Taco Bell's nutrition information is listed online. So if you go to some other place and they don't have any uh, nutrition information, a lot of you times you can use, uh, just mild sauce. And some mild sauce. Um, you can you. use, their nutrition information to kind of like estimate as best as you can. There's so much fat in this stuff. Yeah, 
Well, and it just depends. Like, if they put lard and stuff, there's gonna be more fat. If you're yeah, like eating a shit ton people. of, well, yeah, there's lard and everything. Um, One local tortilla is six, seven thousand calories. Hey, how's it going? Thank, Thank you. you. I mean, if you're eating Mexican food here, like I, I have found it. I found Mexican food to actually be one of the easier things to kind of make macro friendly. Cause like, beans are beans, whatever. As long as there's not like a shit ton of lard in them, which even if there is, you know, you can kind of fudge things other ways. Like, so like I steak fajitas. So you're looking at like probably four to six ounces of steak is kind of a standard restaurant portion. I would overestimate as best as possible. So I'd say like at least six ounces. And again, it kind of depends on what you're looking at, right? Um, if there is enough steak on there that's about the size of your hand, that's gonna be about six ounces. Um, with veggies, I wouldn't, I don't necessarily worry about tracking shit like bell peppers because that's gonna give you, it's like 20 calories. It's not gonna make or break your day, but they're probably cooked in oil. So you want to at least track one to two tablespoons of oil, just depending on okay. how, how greasy it is. Like canola or? Yeah, canola, olive oil. They're all gonna come out to be like literally the exact same amount of fat. So it doesn't really matter. Like all oils have the same amount of fat in them. <laughs> you take a vegan to a drive through and you you're looking nice. you're looking at like 16 grams of fat for two tablespoons no matter what and it's I mean in like 200 calories basically is what you're looking at for two tablespoons of oil no matter what yeah but butter might have some carbs in it so it, again if, if they're cooking this stuff in butter most of the time you can ask too like I worked in restaurants for 12 years and people asked me all sorts of fucking crazy questions about what was in the food yeah and you know what but but I, for speaking as somebody who worked in the restaurant industry for years, like I never really minded it that much. Cause like, if yeah. you're a good server, you should fucking know what's on your menu and you yeah. should know what portion size is. Like we literally have to take tests on that. So like, yeah. why do we take these tests if people don't ask questions, you know? That makes sense. So yeah, I never really minded when people would ask questions about it. Cool. Um, well, let's so yeah, here. let's go rip these burritos apart. Yeah, not a problem. <laughs> What's up? I am Caitlin, owner uh, and founder of Macros and Metcons Nutrition Coaching. This is Darwin. Do you want to Everybody, introduce yourself? <laughs> this, is, this is Gidget. She Gidget. just hopped in my lap. Apparently, she likes Taco Bell. So, you have to get down soon. Everyone likes Taco Bell. Yeah. Uh, Darwin's one of my clients. We've been talking about doing this for a while uh, mm -hmm. about going to Taco Bell and right. talking about how it can be very macro friendly, it can be very not macro friendly. Uh, you can use Taco Bell as a estimator for other Mexican restaurants. Um, and I just really love Taco Bell a lot, so. It's good. All right, uh, I got two bean burritos, no cheese. Oh fuck, I forgot to look at my phone to see how much it is. Ugh. So okay. I got two bean burritos with Probably no cheese. Days, I swear. Um, no, you know what? Actually, these are like a big dent in my day for really? just two bean burritos. Yeah, mm. I have to pull it up. It's. Like 55 carbs per burrito or something? Per burrito? Holy yeah. crap. Okay, so it's 55 carbs per burrito, nine grams of fat per burrito, and 13 grams of protein per burrito. So this is like a really big dent in my day. This, I didn't have to order these. These are just like what I wanted. Mm. Um, so what did you order? I got see power, it's a power burrito with steak. No, chicken. Power burrito. You don't trust Taco Bell beef. We talked about this in the car. Yeah, I've, 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 I've been to where they they farm it. Power burrito. It smells funny there. Du, du, du. All right, power burrito with chicken. Boom. How are we looking? Is going to be 41 carbs, 20 grams of fat, and 26 grams of protein. 20 grams of fat? Jesus. Yeah, it's probably, there's guacamole in it. Oh. Yeah. Mm. So that's the worth thing. Worth it. So that, I mean, yeah, it's worth it. But mm. I feel like that's one of those things that, uh, is like one of our problems with eating fast food is we don't think about like everything that's on the burrito. So like Taco Bell is actually very customizable. So if you wanted a power burrito mm -hmm. with less with uh, less fat on it, you can just say no guacamole. You can say Oops. no sour cream. Hmm. Um, I think we're like programmed to not want to be annoying and <laughs> always be polite to fast food people, which mm -hmm. yes, absolutely. But you can totally like Customize yeah. them as much as no you want. No guacamole. I don't think that's an unreasonable request. Yeah, you know, exactly. I'm not asking them to like, you know, dance around and scream like a monkey or something. No, no. no. Um, so Taco Bell also can be super helpful. We talked about this in the car too. Um, when you're going to other Mexican food restaurants and you're trying to look for 
similar food items. So all of your national chains, all of your fast foods, uh, your Olive Gardens, Cheesecake Factories, all of those, all of that nutrition information is going to be listed online. Uh, whether it's on my mm. fitness pal or just on Google. Oh, well, cause you can pull, I know a lot of it All you can of it's pull. There. Cause I've pulled from Chick-fil-A's website a lot. Yes. Like when I'm in airports, that's kind of my go-to. Yeah. Like the grilled chicken sandwich with, you know, kind of cause airport yeah, yeah. food sucks. Airport food does suck. Oh. Um, actually terminal four at Sky Harbor is pretty that is, great. <laughs> well, that's basically like that's Fashion so Square funny. Mall with an airplane next to it. Exactly. But yeah. They, they do have good food there. Um, so yeah, so there was a, a movement. So besides like all of the national food chains, um, mm -hmm. websites and, uh, sorry, uh, nutrition information being listed online, um, there was a movement started a couple of years ago and I'm like 99% sure I'm right on this. That was actually started by Michelle Obama to get more nutrition information out there on restaurants. So now restaurants that have 20 locations or more, which is still a relatively like mid-size mm -hmm. chain, um, has to have nutrition information listed online as well. So there's really? more nutrition information out online, I feel like cool. now more than ever. Yeah, well Rachel's worked at North Forever and she was telling me that they had to come in and like do all the weighing and stuff. Really? Like, I mean, it's a huge pain in the ass to do it, but like I'm sure. you have to weigh every food item um, and submit so it to North, like the board. you can get online and see? North has some information listed. It okay. hasn't, so their 20th store is opening, I wanna say in the fall this year. So it's okay. not quite there yet. But they're in but the But they're process. in the process of doing it, yeah. I'm kidding. Okay. Um, so that's really helpful. But other than that, all of the chain restaurants like that you mm. could possibly think of are gonna be listed. Wow. Um, so Super. if you're going to any sort of like local restaurant, you know, you can use Cheesecake Factory, you can use Olive Garden, yeah. like you can use those entries uh, to like give yourself, you know, the best estimate possible. Yeah. No, that's good to know too, because I mean, I mean, you know me, I love to cook and I love to eat local when mm -hmm. I can. Like this, I mean, it's Sunday. Yeah. I might have had a couple drinks yesterday, yeah. sorry coach. We're so, gonna enjoy you know, this Taco Bell. Yes, this Taco Bell is, <laughs> this is not food, this is medicine right yes, now. Exactly. But, you know, trying to eat local is great, but you know, you ease down to, you know, super burrito or whatever mm -hmm. else. And it's like, it's so hard to figure. I mean, I just kind of walk in the door figuring, well, my fats are just effed for right, day. Yeah. And, you know, I'm gonna eat a bunch of vegetables and super lean ground beef for dinner right. and, and just pray. Yeah, um, yeah, so this is a really helpful way that you can still estimate as best as possible. Yeah. And oh, it's awesome. It's not perfect, but it's more so about making the effort to do it yeah. so that you have a better idea of how much you're eating hmm. um, and you're not totally screwing your numbers for the yeah. day. So. And they have funny hot sauce back. And they have funny hot sauce back. <laughs> yeah, this one's on me. Mine are kind of lame. Mine say play it cool. Well, it's because you get mild sauce. I mean, who eats, my, yeah. I love fire sauce. Fire sauce. Too bad you're not single. What's up? I love it. Where'd no, Kay go? I don't know. He's probably jealous if we're smashing Taco Bell and he's not. We asked him if he wanted Taco Bell. Hey man, the camera guy's a thankless job. So my my original plan for like- Wait, do you have to track these? No. Oh, this is like- Hot sauce is like zero calories. Oh, Yeah. perfect. Use all the hot sauce, all the mustard okay. that you want because they're like zero calorie. Oh, I love it. Um, that's just made my day so much better. No, no, no. You know what? I'm happy, happy to Not help. Not sitting this one out. Happy to help. Also amazing. Mm -hmm. Didn't hear it from me. Oh my God, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I could get a job writing hot sauce slogans for them. I don't see why not. Mm. I'm so good. Guacamole. When I first went vegan, I talked about Taco Bell so much that my aunts bought me a bunch of Taco Bell gift cards for Christmas. <laughs> Which was really great because I didn't have to pay for Taco Bell for like six months. Yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. That just helps you on your journey. Love it. Yeah, this thing's good, but there's sour cream and guac, so. Yeah. 20 grams makes I sense. I like those because they're grilled. Mm hmm. I mean, I don't know. I love this kind of food. And then the other one, because, I mean, you know, from. My Instagram, I like to make some of uh, Zach's stuff. Mm -hmm. And the crunch wraps, really been trying to dial in my crunch wrap game. Mm -hmm. Did you, enough, did you buy his ebook? Mm -mm. Or are you trying to fuck with it? I'm just trying to do, like, see how he does everything. Mm -hmm. I was actually hoping you just win a copy and give it to me. <laughs> but. You so know what? The second happens. he so comes with a, the second he comes out with like a vegan one, I will absolutely buy that. Mm -hmm. Jordana has the the ebook. I know who to hit up. Yeah, now. you have you know? to ask her. Yeah, because a lot of his stuff, you know, I mean, I have a bit of a sweet tooth for sure, mm -hmm. and so a lot of his desserts I want to try to make. Um, 
But like the fast food stuff, because I mean, I'm on the go all the time and I yeah. have to prep meals, because otherwise it's just, I eat Chipotle six times a week. You do eat a lot of Chipotle. And then, you That's know, fine. it's a solution. No. But yeah, the, um, you know, I like these recipes. I mean, this tastes great, but you know, swap a few things around, make it at the house, it's probably pretty good. Yeah. When mm. you could add like more protein to it, you can use like the high fiber tortillas. Mm -hmm. Those XLA ones are really good. Yeah. I like Trader Joe's tortillas just because they're they don't have they don't have a ton of stuff in them, so you can eat several and not die. I'm gonna be honest, I have not walked into a grocery store in I don't know how long. <laughs> you are an Instacart. <laughs> I ordered you my are groceries total, all the time. You are a total like, and I should be doing that. It saves but, me so much money. Yeah. I mean, it, let's be real, it saves Jazz so much money. That's true because you order and you're not like, oh, I want that. Oh, I want exactly. So I spend seventy dollars instead of one hundred and eighty dollars. So I'm wandering around grabbing shit. This is why you take your coach to Taco Bell and pay for it. It's the best four dollar investment I made all day. Mm -hmm. So are you Instacart or you Amazon Prime? Are I did. So I do it primarily through. I only order groceries through Sprouts. I've mm -hmm. done. I've done fries a couple of times too, but fries has a really high delivery charge, and it's like mm -hmm. right around the corner, so that's annoying. So I've done ClickList with fries. Is that where you drive up and pick it up? Yes. Okay. But my issue with ClickList is like it takes them so fucking long to like put the groceries together. Mm, um, yeah. So Sprouts is usually within two hours that it'll be delivered to you. Like you click you. it two hours it's at your door? Yeah. Damn. They text you the whole time to be like, hey, your person just started shopping, so, yeah, so if you need any Amazon replacements does or that anything. Too. They're just, their groceries are higher priced. Yeah, so I haven't ordered through Amazon. Mm -hmm. um, I also get really mad every time I do go to a Whole Foods because I feel like my Prime membership does nothing. Doesn't. It's so dumb. It's like, oh, you get discounts at Whole Foods, lies. It's not real. Mm -hmm. It's like one cent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a fucking joke. Yeah, they don't care about that. But it is, it is nice. So they have the neighborhood grocery stores. Like, On Amazon? Yeah, they're not, um, there's not a ton here, but out in California, I'm up there a bunch. And yeah, you've got like the, it's like the Whole Foods, I forget what they call it, like 365 mm -hmm. market or something. Yeah, they're good. And you do save some money there. Mm. Originally, mm. when I wanted to like move into the digital space, Kaylal and I always talked about having just a channel of me eating mm. food. <laughs> you might get a few weird DMs Caitlin about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you would probably gonna want to filter your messages, but yeah, it would totally work. So. It was great. But mm. when I originally started, I was eating like fucking kimchi hot dogs off the street in Austin. Mmm. Those are good. They are good. Yeah. I think about kimchi hot dogs a lot. Oh my god, my life is so much better after eating that burrito. So I do feel like way day. better. <laughs> I was kind of hungover, and uh, now I feel great. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Macro friendly hangover remedies. Right. Part one. Yeah, and it's an easy way to get in a couple hundred calories real quick. Yeah, that's awesome. Now I can, you know, function again as a human. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Well, thank you for joining us on our Taco Bell adventure. I'm Caitlin, uh, owner of Macros and Metcons, and... I'm Darwin, I do real estate stuff. No BS REI. Yeah, I feel Real like... estate. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to the podcast, which is on YouTube. Yep. It's YouTube podcast. It's YouTube, yeah. We like the visuals, you know. Yeah, subscribe to us here. Uh, yeah, cool. have a wonderful Sunday. Awesome, oh wait. Or whatever day it is pick when your, this goes pick out. your favorite sauce packet from your place. Oh, my favorite your... sauce packet? Hang on. Um, Boom, I got this one. Ready? Taking requests. <laughs> awesome. Cheers. Mine says, let's go on an adventure. A mild uh -huh. adventure. <laughs> Just a mild oh, adventure. Oh, let's see. Taking requests. Fire. <laughs>